welcome. Thank you for joining in to watch the graduation ceremony of the Technology, Cybersecurity, and Policy Program, which we affectionately call TCP. We are sad that we could not welcome you in person to celebrate at the beautiful University of Colorado campus. However, the safety of our faculty, staff, students, and their families is our first priority. We are all gathered virtually here today to honor and celebrate your enormous accomplishments. Your graduation from TCP, congratulations. This is truly your day and this ceremony is for you. My name is Dr. Dan Massey and I serve as the faculty director of TCP and will be the moderator for today's virtual ceremony. At the outset, I'd like to thank the people who made today possible. Thank you to all the TCP faculty and lecturers for sharing their expertise, guiding our students throughout their time here. Without you, educating all of our wonderful students would not have been possible. Thanks also to the TCP staff for all of their hard work throughout the year. Your work done often behind the scenes is essential and you are truly appreciated. I'd also like to thank the family and friends of our students for all the support you've given them that's allowed them to flourish and ultimately succeed in getting their TCP degree. Parents, I'm sure all these students very much appreciate everything you've done to help them achieve this milestone. TCP is a unique educational program. Graduates, you're completing the best interdisciplinary program in the world. The courses you took challenged you to address today's most pressing technological issues. With a TCP degree, you're not only able to be a technical subject matter expert, you're able to be a strategic decision maker and able to address the bigger complex problems facing today's society. Now I'd like to welcome TCP Associate Directory Jim Curry to give a few words. Hello everybody, I am Jim Curry. I'm one of the Associate Directors of the Technology, Cybersecurity and Policy Program. Everybody say technology, cybersecurity, and policy. I can't hear you. Technology, cybersecurity, and policy. I'm here today to congratulate you and your class, and especially the growth that all of you have demonstrated over the past two years. Many of you started off just wanting to be engineers. Your focus was laser-like. Congratulations, you have achieved that goal. You are engineers. Congratulations. But over the course of two years, many of you realized that you could do more. You could become leaders, researchers, entrepreneurs. Your future is open. You are now more powerful, critical thinkers and problem solvers than when you started. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Because of your education, you are now more powerful, critical thinkers and problem solvers in technology, cybersecurity, and policy. While your immediate goal has been achieved, you're engineers, you're graduating, congratulations. For me, on a personal note, it was joy for me to better understand what parts of my future could be through you. Finally, what is important to me is that you are now better writers who know technology, cybersecurity, and policy. What you learned was that by practice and attention to detail, you could accomplish many things that you did not think that you could. Congratulations. You developed a growth mindset. Congratulations. And while I cannot predict your future, it does involve writing, Technology, cybersecurity, and policy. Congratulations, class of 2020 in TCP. Technology, cybersecurity, and policy. Thank you. Thank you, Jim, for those encouraging words. I will now introduce the 2020 Outstanding Student for TCP, Corey Crampton. Corey has not only excelled in the classroom, he's also participated in numerous TCP events, hackathons, and extracurricular clubs. He was a standout performer in TCP's Designing for Defense class. Last year, as a D4D student, the team he led was recognized by our national panel of judges and was one of six teams to compete nationally in the D4D finale. This year, 
Corey has been instrumental to the success of D4D as a mentor and a coach. With that, I'd like to welcome Corey to say a few words to this year's graduating class. First and foremost, congratulations everyone on graduating. This is a terrific achievement and I'm proud of us all. I hope you're all staying well and healthy and happy during these unique and uncertain times. I'm sure this hasn't been easy for any of us, and definitely not the way I could have ever possibly imagined finishing up a degree. But especially in these difficult times, it is important to remember that smooth seas never made a skilled sailor. As a quick background, three years ago, I had just failed two of my classes in my last semester of undergrad. It was already my fifth year and all of my closest friends were finishing up their bachelor's and some of them even their master's degrees. So, as you can imagine, when I started this program, I didn't think I'd be here today. But to be fair, there are a number of things about today that I couldn't have guessed at three years ago, including how sure I am that a woman in Florida definitely fed her husband to tigers. But when I started, I resolved to keep my head down, work hard, and grind until I was making those friends as proud as they make me. Now two years, many classes, and many times of Dr. Curry having us repeat technology, cybersecurity, and policy back to him. I'm honored to add all of you to that list of friends who I'm proud of. I think we all make fine sailors. As we all move on from this time and into the roles of masters of science, I would like to ask three things of us all. I ask it of you and of myself, because even though they might be hard asks, with uncertain returns, I've seen that every one of us is capable of them. First and most important, be kind. Be kind to each other, be kind to strangers, be kind to coworkers, friends, and family, and be kind to yourself. Most of us tend to forget that last one. We can be very hard on ourselves, but it's also the most important. Second, I ask us all to be leaders. Especially in this time where uncertainty and reliance on tech is increasing, let's be bold. We can use our knowledge and our experiences to help shape and improve the changing landscape around us. Let's take risks. Let's inspire others to do great things by way of the greatness that we create. Third, I ask us all to stay hungry. I ask us to set our goals so high that we never become complacent. I ask us to develop a good relationship with losing. Learn to love it as much as winning, because that's where the real lessons and growth are. That way we're not afraid to dream big and grind to achieve it. I truly mean it when I say that it has been an honor to work alongside all of you, both the students and the faculty and staff, and I would certainly be so lucky to work with all of you again in the future. I wish all of you the very best in your endeavors and in reaching all of your goals. I look forward to reading Wired articles and headlines about you all. Stay well and happy and healthy, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Corey, and congratulations. It's now time for the most exciting function of the day, the awarding of the graduate degrees. We'll start by recognizing those graduating with a Doctor of Philosophy in Technology, Cybersecurity, and Policy. Ibrahim Ayad. Devang Bipin Gedia. Andre Rolando Rosete. Irina Stevens. Nadia Patricia Yoza Mitsuisi. We will now recognize those graduating with a Master of Science in Technology, Cybersecurity, and Policy. Art Dinesh Bhai Adroja, Asma Abdullah Al Hurashi, Amrita Arjun, Nirupa Pankaj Ashokan, Akshay Rajesh Kumar Bruta, Venkata Amarnath Reddy. Biatinti Kaushik Krishna Chakka Vivum Sharad Chandorkar Rajiv Annamalai Chinnikanu Kori Alex Cranford Pranav Gumaraj Srinivas Animesh Gupta Adil Irfan Ikramullah Muhammad, Jose Dalson Ironish Kumar, Silpa Joshi, Jion Jong, Bhushan Shirish Kamle, Vinit Pradeep Kanvinde, 
तवलीन कौर प्रतीक प्रकाश खंडलकर ऋषभ सतीश खरीदी शे सुधाकर कोटियन शुभंकर श्रीराम कुलकर्णी दिव्य कुमारी कुमरनाथन प्रेम कुमार मोहनराज गोकुल मुराली चैतन्य एकांत एकोड़ी अमोल अरुण निकम अफुरे मार्था ओइबो प्रांजल संजय ओजारदे श्रेयस अभय पार्थे प्रीतेश लक्ष्मण पाटिल साध्वी रविशंकर अनिमेश कुमार शाहू साहाना सत्यनारायण पार्थ सेलोटे पूजा शंकर प्रार्थना शेड़गे रक्षित रमेश शेट्टी केऊर सुधीर शिड़गांवकर सिद्धार्थ विलास शिरोलकर अमित सुर आर्या मुकेश ठैकर निक्षेप उमा महेश विमलानंद वासुदेवन सौम्य वेलामाला मानसी राव वेंकटेश राजा सुहास व्यास आशीष कुमार यादव मनेश यादव किरण यशवंत यू जाकी खालेद जाहिद निकोलस ऑस्टिन जिमर Congratulations to all of our graduates. I want to provide you some brief closing thoughts at this time. I hope you enjoyed the ride. It's been an exciting time at TCP, a unique end of the semester with uh with the COVID-19 situation. I wish we could all be here in person, but but again, the entire TCP family wants to congratulate you on your enormous achievements. Going forward, you're now fully part of that TCP family. We're a community, and like any community, we hope you'll be active and in communication with us. Your next steps are exciting and open to all kinds of possibilities. Remember again to be humble, be professional, and be inspired. You are the future architects and leaders of our information economy. We need you to push the boundaries and address the pressing social challenges facing society as a whole. You have the training and the knowledge on behalf of myself and all the TCP faculty. It's been our pleasure to contribute to your education. And with that, a final congratulations and you've now graduated from TCP. Thank you.